Hey guys, it's Anessa. So, hey, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So today we're gonna to talk about this concept that I had in my head for such a while that I just didn't know how to go about executing it. And on this particular video and this particular photo shoot, that is exactly what I did. I executed a vision that I had in my head. So I'll walk you guys through why I was thinking about this and how I went about executing it. Ready? The vision that I had in my head was I wanted to create an image where the subject had wings, like angel wings that was projecting from you know their shoulders. Not a wild concept, right? Because obviously this has been done multiple times. You know, there's um, Victoria's Secret, you know, those angel that, wings that they have on, on, on their models and stuff like that. So it's not a foreign concept. But what I wanted to do was basically create the wings using just light. And not to create this in Photoshop at all, but just utilizing light to create these wings. Now, in my head, I thought that I needed perhaps maybe about four lights to get this done. But it actually turned out to be about seven lights that I needed to get this done. So in this video, I'll walk you guys through what I was trying to go for and all the lights that I use and how I use those lights on this particular photo shoot to execute the vision that I wanted. So let's talk about the angel because that's really what the concept is about. So in order to execute this, I wanted to have, like I said, about four lights, but it turned out to be about seven lights that I use overall to get this shot. So for the initial angel wings, which is the primary focus of my concept, I wanted to have two lights hidden in the background. And those two lights needed to be concentrated in such a way that it wouldn't impact the subject at all, meaning it won't touch the subject. So for those two lights, I chose the AD600 lights. And the AD600 lights, I chose those two specific lights because it needed to be the exact same power. For example, if I had an AD600 and an AD400 light, which I had these lights on full power, by the way. If I had the 8600 light on full power and the 8400 light on full power, the light intensity would not be the same. And therefore, the effect wouldn't look the same. Okay, and then I would have to pull this off in Photoshop. So in order to pull this off effectively, I needed two 8600 lights on the background. Now, those two 8600 lights were at full power they had a seven inch reflector on there and they had a 10 degree grid with a red gel. Now those lights were just focused on the background only and that's it. In addition to that, I had the AD400 light and that light was coming from above. Now the purpose of that light that was coming from above that was hidden just the background only and not the subject, that light had a seven inch reflector on there as well and it also had a 10 degree grid with a red gel. Now that light was coming from above, like I said, and that light was supposed to act as a halo because why not? Angels have halo. In this particular case, it's not really necessarily an angel per se. It didn't turn out to be an angel. I guess it's more like a devil because with the red, red gel. Um, in addition to that, I also had the 8200 80, light in a seven inch reflector with a 30 degree grid with a red gel hidden in the background that was giving it a circular uh, reference on the background. Now that circular reference was to pull together the 28600 light that was coming in and then the 8400 light that was coming in so that all those lights will come in to that center. That center was supposed to act as a core to give it a sense like, okay, this is where the power of all these lights are coming from. So now the lights that were hidden the subject, so let's talk about that. Another light that I had that was directly behind the subject was a Godox FV150. Now, if I got that model wrong, I'll put the, the model number up here, but I think it's right. Um, so that light was in a seven inch reflector and that light was hidden the subject with a red gel. 
The purpose of that light was to act as if the lights that were directly behind the subjects, the three lights that I already explained, those three lights that it was acting like if those lights were bouncing back onto the subject, which they were not, but this light was supposed to give that effect, like the lights is bouncing off of the subject or coming from the subject. So that was the purpose of that light. Now, let's talk about the main light that was hitting the subject. The main light that was hitting the subject was the AD200 light. Now, that light was in a beauty dish, and that beauty dish had a grid on there. The purpose of the grid was to focus the light on the top portion of the subject so the bottom portion of the subject would fall into shadow. Now, the final light that I had set up was the Godox FV150. Again, if I have that model wrong, I'll put the model here. Uh, but that light was to the camera left of the subject and that light was only supposed to light up the bottom portion of the subject. Now that light was hidden a umbrella, a reflective umbrella that was bouncing the light into that reflective umbrella and then bouncing that light off onto the subject. Now that light had a teal gel on there and that teal gel was just to basically light up the shadow part of the subject so lift up that the, the shadows on the subject right underneath where the main light was falling off so that was the purpose of that light so that was the final light that i had set up for this particular shoot to come up with this look that's how i set up the seven lights so i'm about to show you guys the images that i got from this photo shoot so that you guys could see how i took this original vision how i executed it and then the final results. So let's get into this. So the final thing that I wanted to leave you with is this. If you have a concept that you want to go execute that you were, you know, you had it in your head for such a long time and you just want to go execute it, my first suggestion to you is to go and write it down. Write down how you're going to go about executing this concept that you have in your head. What light do you need? Where do you need to position the light? How many lights you might need? In my case, I started out with four, but it ended up being seven but you have to have a start in position in order to actually do something. And then reach out to a team, reach out to the team to say, look, this is what I'm trying to do. Show them some reference images and have them say, okay, yeah, this is something that I could do and have them come up and create something for you, a look that then you could take that look and apply it to just your lighting setup because you are bringing the light in, they are bringing the wardrobe, they are bringing the here, they are bringing the makeup and the model is bringing her, you know, her look, her attitude and try to bring your vision to life. So don't be afraid to go out and execute your own visions. Even if you fail, it doesn't mean that you didn't learn something. It mean that you learned a lot. You learned that what you failed at, you're probably not going to repeat that again. But even if you don't fail and you don't even get the exact vision that you wanted, in my case, I didn't get the exact vision that I wanted but I got something that I walked away with that I was very happy with, okay? That doesn't mean I won't revisit this type of a photo shoot ever again. I will, because I want to see if I can actually achieve that original look that I had in my head, which is basically get those angel wings. And I think the way I could get those angel wings is with the actual modifiers. That, that, you know, I need a, a good modifier. I just haven't found that modifier yet that can actually create those wings that I want. And I think I have something in my mind on how I could get that done, but more to come on that. But anyways, 
guys that's it enough rambling i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up put some comments down below let me know if it was helpful to you let me know which one of these images were um, speaking to you if which one of them that you enjoy the most and guys share the video with your friends and family if you think it will be helpful to them and guys if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel well what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next video take care 